Good morning, everybody. We got another one today. Small one, though. It's a little garage. This might be the world's smallest garage. <laughs> Go take a look. I'm gonna back this truck up a little bit more, but it's uh, 18 by 10. Back you up a little bit. All right. Just pull it. I think that's good if you want the third one. Oh, we'll just pull it. I need the excise anyway. I'll take a look at it. If it's really dry, I might need the other one. But we can give it more. Not in game shape yet. You guys have been working all winter. We haven't. Yeah, full time. <laughs> been getting overtime all winter. Really? Yeah, and we haven't laid anybody off. Really? I don't think she'll be too dry. It was still close to a six when I got here, and when I rinsed in the cow, it wet it up a little bit. It's pretty good. We'll try it, yeah. You see me breathing hard, it might need a little more. Perfect, perfect. Go back and tell Jim that you deserve a raise because that's perfect. Okay? Call me, I'll call him and tell him. Yeah, a little bit, please. Yeah, I think we can pull your head a little bit. I'll be getting a raise in about two weeks. Good. My one year anniversary. Really? Yeah, I'm still in my rookie year. <laughs> Pull your head one more time, but we'll probably hold up.
Take a break from it there. Mag brush that. Not too bad, yeah. Yeah, we'll give you a we'll give you an A for today. How's that? Almost an A plus really. See how we finish up here. <laughs> Lord. Right, right. Oh, we wanna be perfect. We don't have to shovel any out. Right. Yeah, I had to knock a brick out too. Just gonna have to find a joint, knock the brick out. Yeah, it's about four, but the time you get the brick under it and the two things of rebar, it gets a little close to the top. Is it four the whole way, or is it kind of like this? This was this was kind of four here, yeah, yeah. Maybe three and a half where he's standing. Then it went up about five back there. What did you do? Oh, fuck. I've done everything. Yeah. The job I left to come here, I worked at CGW. Which is uh, Pittsburgh Glass Works. Really? Yep. And they're warehouse distribution for auto glass. So, like Portland Glass and places like that. Yeah. We would deliver windshields and door glass and shit to them and they'd install them. And yeah. Before that, I drove the taxi. In Portland on the overnights for oh, geez. ten years. That was an adventure. I literally done just things. <laughs> I used to do metal finishing, electroplating. Yeah, yeah. I worked in machine jobs. I've been a painter. I've done construction. A lot of my jobs have been driving jobs, so I like driving. Yeah, well, kind of have to, to to do this job, don't you? Okay. You said you gotta like driving to do this job. Yeah. And work, working a lot of hours. Well, I want to rinse that off. Job is and a your lot hand. more city than driving. <laughs> a lot more city driving. Sitting. Yeah. Oh, sitting. sitting yeah. Around. You want me to get this stuff out of the way, then, or? Yeah, that'd be good. Big rocks in that concrete. I'd say that stuff's been there a while. Look at that rock. I wonder if that's the ledge they just didn't get out of there and they were like, that's yeah, low enough, let's pour it. Could be. Wanna get your hand looked? Yeah. Concrete gloves. When we wash it, we'll just pull your head and wash it right there probably. We'll clean it up after. Okay. Ain't much else for them to wash. We're gonna need a little bit though.
Good. I'll get the shovel and scrape that, okay? Hold on. Okay. Yeah, let's try that. Hold on, don't hit him in the oh oh. Yeah. You catch him? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Now you can go up. Good. Oh, so much for my ass. <laughs> this gear went a little bit low, but we'll, let's let him come out of there. As soon as you can tell the way back down. Just a little bit in the chute will scrape her down. I think so. Let's try it. When you roll that ahead, we're going to get a little bit too. Roll it ahead a little bit. Got about a shovel full in there if we need it. That's on a Saturday. Boston's on Monday. So what are you doing in the train? Just hanging out? Well, we're going to Celtic Sunday. It's almost safe we're taking an Uber. Yeah. Uh, yeah, probably a little easier. Giambi. Uh, and the A's ended up going. Yeah. That was the old stadium. Oh, yeah. It was still in the Bronx, all right. Yeah. Yeah. Up above the the big park. Is I it, don't know. We took, we took the. 
subway to it, and we got out and we walked. I don't know, like a walk. And it was all these kind of like souvenir places and restaurants and bars. Yeah, yeah. That block, and, and we walked right to the stadium. So I didn't really see much of anything else. And then when the game was over, and we were in humid. It was like 85 degrees Yeah. It wasn't comfortable. Once the game started, it was, because the sun went down, and, you know, it cooled off a little bit, but it wasn't. Leading up to it, it was kind of comfortable. <laughs> Eighteen by ten, world's smallest garage right there. <laughs> we'll just give that a hand finish. We'll mag it, trial it out a couple times, cut a saw joint across it, and then that'll be good for that. Seems like it always works out that way, don't it? You know. Just a matter of everybody getting hot at the same time. Hey guys, so if you've poured a smaller garage floor than that, or if you have a smaller garage floor than that, you know, make sure you let me know down in the comments. Thanks for coming on the job site with us and just listening in and seeing what it's like to be on the job with us, how it sounds and, and how we work. And anyway, I appreciate you watching. Thanks again. Come on back. We'll see you on the next one.